طبعا فيزيكس انجينيرنج يو نو ذات فلويد داينامكس از سب ديسيبلين اوف فلويد ميكانكس فلويد ميكانكس وفلويد ستاتكس اللي هو بوديز اوف ووتر ات ريست مثل وات يو سي ان سويمينج بول ان ا كاب اوف ووتر ستيل نو موشن اور فلويد داينامكس وير فلويد از ان موشن So, uh, so fluid dynamics is part of fluid mechanics and describes the flow of fluids, يعني liquids and gases. Because once it, it stops uh, flowing, once or two, we do stop calling it fluid. Uh, fluid dynamics has a wide range of applications, uh, including uh, calculating forces and moments on aircraft, determining mass flow rate and petroleum through pipelines, uh, predicting weather patterns in the atmosphere, uh, understanding nebulae uh, and interstellar space, and modeling fission weapon detonation. So uh, fluid mechanics is probably everywhere. It's very omnipotent and uh, uh, most, most notably in the human uh, body. The governing equations uh, of fluid flow is governed by a set of partial differential equations. The Navier source equations are the heart or at the heart of fluid flow model. Solving them uh, for a particular set of boundary conditions, such as inlets, outlets, walls, whatever boundary conditions you decide to have uh, in your problem, predicts the fluid velocity and its pressure in a given geometry most of the time. So the unknown, set of unknowns you're solving for are velocities, U, V, W in 3D, and pressure. Uh, because of their complexity, uh, this Navier-Stokes uh, set of equations only admit a limited number of analytical solutions, like the flow between two parallel plates. The set of analytical solutions you're familiar with from, from your uh, fluid dynamics uh, or fluid mechanics days, like a dozen or so analytical solutions, oh, that's it. For more complex geometries, however, the equations need to be solved numerically. Or else you set up an experiment and, uh, and, um, and see what you can do. Uh, the Navier-Stokes equations govern the motion of fluids and can be seen as Newton's second law of motion for fluids. At the heart of the Navier-Stokes equation is F is equal to MA. Just like at the heart of conservation of mass, we said, is the definition of a system. Just like at the heart of the energy equation was, you know, Again, we will go to the house. Okay. If I got killed, I wanted to do something. I let me take a few moments to say something about the homework. The homework at the end due Tuesday. I had an extension. Good. The homework is due Tuesday. Okay. 5.01, I will not accept the homework. Okay, it's time to wake up and smell the coffee. If you want an extension, speak now or hold forever. Marco extension. Don't email me this morning telling me I want an extension. Okay. Moment awal shahar. And then, moment awal shahar. You're a graduate student. So act like uh, graduates. Oh, by the way, when I speak, I expect you to listen. Yeah, and a very, very modest expectation. If you need to drink coffee, if you need to take a nap, if you need to drop one of the courses, if you need to drop this course, it's fine. This You might as well listen when I'm talking. Should find that.
So, anyone wants to answer the question? At the heart of energy equation, conservation of energy, it's, you know, Am I asking something new or something I talked about before? For the energy inside the system. Okay. Uh, the, the difference uh, time of the energy is equal to the energy inside the system plus the one that is generated uh, in the system. Right. What is this called? Uh, first law of uh, Is this new? First time I say this? Well, we've had homework about it. <laughs> we've had homework about it. Don't act like it's something new. Don't act like it's the first time you hear me say this. Okay? We well, don't duck your head beyond, behind the screen and the animation. I expect you to, to know what I discussed already. First listen, and then Recall what I said. I can't repeat, keep repeating your question lectures. So it's unreasonable. <coughs> I could show you a lecture where I talked about at the heart of mass conservation, definition of a system, how the best system, how the move system. At the heart of conservation of momentum is Newton's second law. And we derived them. How the F, SNI, or Nikon, LMA. Will A can F, the total derivative, total acceleration, convective, or trans or transit, or local. Who at the heart of energy conservation was new first law of thermodynamics, conservation of energy. So unless you want to uh, meet your first quiz, uh, really meet your first quiz next uh, class, uh, you had better uh, start paying attention. Please, I'm not going to a quiz, but I'll give you a quiz in order for you to uh, go through all the material and make sure you're tight on that material. Okay? So it's not a simulation class where we click around but then we push. Uh, stuff, we upload stuff, or oh, ask for extensions. This is not the class. Okay, so F is equal to MA. Hadal al F, Alimin, Wahada al MA. Like we derived. to understand each one of these like we had uh, analytically because they will have a direct bearing on any difficulty we have in, uh, in solving a numeric. Okay. Any problem you might have, convergence, accuracy problem, will be related to these uh, terms. Uh, of course, these momentum conservation is always or are always safe, solved with the continuity equation, conservation of mass. Um, so, depending on the flow regime of interest, it's often possible to simplify these equations where we could forget the time derivative, the time, the transient term, and say, well, this is approximately, it's very slow with regard to the uh, time scale of the experiment, my model is so uh, slow, I will simplify it to the steady form, will uh, the 2D, or will uh, the axisymmetric form. Uh, in other cases, additional equations may be required. So look at the flow, you say the flow is 3D with transient, well, it's not enough. I have to add other equations. 
equation of state to determine the density. Well, uh, uh, turbulence model to account for the turbulence dissipation. Uh, uh, these could be turbulence model or any constitutive equation, non-Newtonian and, and whatnot. If the field, in the field of fluid mechanics, the dif different flow regimes are categorized using non-dimensional numbers such as Reynolds number and Mach number. This has to do with convection versus diffusion in the flow, and this has to do with ultimately the compressibility of the flow. Uh, of the flow. Uh, Reynolds number, طبعاً, inertial forces to viscous forces. Uh, from laminar it goes to turbulent, the Mach number corresponds to the ratio of fluid velocity, the speed of sound in the fluid, and represents or stands for the continuous uh, compressibility. Low Reynolds number flow, creeping flow, you meet uh, often in, in uh, uh, porous media, where the channels or the pores within the sand, with the sponge, with the earth, earth mantle with the rocks uh, force the flow or the fluid velocity to be very small the inertial forces inertial terms are very small compared to the viscous forces lots of friction between the fluid lots of surface area and uh, these inertial forces can be neglected when solving navier source equation uh, they turn into another set of equations we will study them when we do porous media in like uh, a month or so, we'll do, um, um, uh, we'll call them other other equations, Darcy's or Brinkman equation. Uh, we'll look at them later. Uh, for example, the channels are at most 0.1 millimeters width, and the uh, Reynolds number is less than 0.01. So it's close to zero. Okay, so the flow is dominated by the viscous terms in the Navier source equation. Okay. Uh, because there are no external forces, gravity is negligible. The force term is also equal to zero, and the Navier source equation reduced to diffusion plus pressure, which is the driving force. Uh, high Reynolds number, on the other hand, um, Fusion force forces uh, are negligible, and sometimes you change the character of the equations instead of the Navier-Stokes equation. You solve the Euler equation, which should be which should provide uh, an acceptable uh, results uh, where you your, where you disregard the diffusion and the flow is dominated by uh, the convective terms. Um, uh, other times, the fluid flow is, um, is chaotic and turbulence creeps in and uh, velocity and pressure fields, uh, the instantaneous velocity and pressure can be broken up to ease the modeling process into uh, mean and fluctuating part. So, uh, so this instantaneous velocity can be broken up into a mean and then a fluctuating part about the zero. Okay. We'll look at them when we do the um, when we do the turbulence flow. So uh, let's move on. Uh, Comsol, of course, does uh, turbulence flow, and it has a number of models. Reynolds average Navier-Stokes formulation. So it's not the simple uh, Navier-Stokes. Uh, it's a Reynolds average one. Uh, this is the Reynolds averaging. We'll look at it when we do the turbulence uh, modeling. Uh, and we'll discuss turbulence viscosity and so on. Uh, compressibility of the flow is measured by the Mach number that we said. And um, you have three options. Specifically in Comsol, you, you can do the incompressible where the density is constant. You can do the fully compressible where you need to solve the equation of state or the density as a function of temperature and pressure. Or you can do the weakly compressible uh, where the